Come on, guys. We got, we got 50 minutes. Oh, boy. I assume some of you are wanting to do something like this. Are you trying to, is anyone trying to quit, wanting to quit? Anyone? Here we go. All right, every one of you has a question. Microphone back there. Um, I did kind of quit. Uh, I worked in Washington, D.C. doing uh, consulting work for the government. Uh, and I actually worked part-time to use bookstore, and when the owner wanted to retire, I bought the bookstore for him. Cool. So, yeah, I've done that for two years, and for me, my spouse was very hesitant for this. It scared the crap out of him. Um, so I ended up working full-time for two months at another job as I owned the bookstore, and then continued part-time for six months after that, before I quit my other job entirely and just went to the bookstore. And in my experience, that was a horrible idea. It was incredibly difficult to do both of those, and I should have, in retrospect, just quit, just done the bookstore once I was an owner. So how did you all, once you did this, move into doing your dream job instead of doing your day-to-day -day job? How did that work for you? Um, I, I, I was, um, I started the comic about a year before I, uh, depending on who you ask, quit or was asked to quit. <laughs> um, the second answer is more true. Uh, I, I had been doing the comic for about a year. When we got, um, when my wife got pregnant, we, I, I kind of realized, you know, like mortality hits you in the face when you realize you're gonna have a kid and, and uh, there's a limited amount of time uh, and there's a limited uh, amount of effort and, and the more effort you spend on things you hate or things that, even if they're just baseline but don't make you happy, it's just all wasted time. Uh, so just you know, chase happiness was the, was the main thing that was like just ringing through my ears. And, uh, and I realized if my kid had been old enough to ask me what I was doing for 12 hours a day, I would have been pretty um, depressed about the answer. I wanted her to be proud of what, what I was doing with my time. And so I started the comic with the hopes of someday uh, turning it into a job. And then when, as the comic took over more of my uh, mental cycles, uh, my job there was nowhere for it to fit. I, I didn't care anymore about dental websites. I just didn't. There, I, I would go to a two-hour lunch just to, to, to reply to comments and Twitter and stuff and, uh, and and come in later and later because I'd been working on the comic in the morning before work and go home earlier so I could work on the comic. And finally they were like, hey, you just hate it here. You should go. And I'm like, you mother, you're right. You know, <laughs> we're on the same page here. Um, and, and I left and it was one of those things of, okay, this is either going to be the, the time I remember for the rest of my life that I took this leap and never looked back, or the time where I treaded water on unemployment for a few months and then got another job I don't like. And so uh, with the support of my wife, um, we made it a thing, we made it happen. It was incredibly difficult. We lived off our savings for almost a year, mm -hmm. dried those up, and, uh, and never replenished them because hey, money on the internet is a thing that's not much and so uh but you know this it's been it's been five years um that that i've been doing this full time and i here you know i'm here i mean uh this is part of it so uh i i every every month every year is a different kind of struggle but uh it was it was primarily the thing that kept me from going to starbucks or kept me from going for some sort of part-time job was like what you said the only way i could do this was all in and so it didn't matter where I was for another six or eight hours a day, that was going to be a distraction that was going to extend the process of doing this full time by years, if not indefinitely. Uh, so I had, to, I had to jump in both feet and, and, and make sure that uh, I wasn't distracted. I would say it's, it's amazing how quickly you can just get like, completely entwined in your life. Um, I, and we've sort of, uh, somewhat maybe sound like we're bashing these uh, consulting jobs in DC, but actually there, it was a great job. Um, they took really good care of me. I did have some creative outlet in there, um, which is the most seductive thing. And it's the really almost harder than having a sucky job you want to quit. No, it's not almost harder. It's definitely harder to quit a job that's actually like paying the bills, doing really well, the people there are great, there's really no insurance to leave, yeah. except insurance. Yeah, insurance. Oh, yeah. okay. all, the, all the freelancers up here go, go, oh, insurance. Yes. Okay, let's not talk about that. We don't want to bring the room down. But. Yeah. Um, yeah, my job did start to go downhill a little bit, but that just gave me time to work on my stuff in my spare time um, at work. 
<laughs> Don't tell them. Don't tell them. No one here's ever done work. The other. Yeah, absolutely not. No. But uh, no, it's. I think the hardest thing about, well, the second hardest thing, first hardest thing was leaving our friends behind because we moved across the country to do what we wanted to do. But the second hardest thing was quitting a job that was really a, a good, a very, very good job. And you have that fear that you might not ever be able to get that back too. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Like that, oh God, what have I done? Oh, yeah, yeah. But ultimately, but ultimately the creative, I, I, I feel like the creative side has never been as, as fed as it has been in the last year. I, you know, I don't have the new job yet, but every decision we've made is sort of line, you know, we, we, I feel like we're on a line uh, towards our dreams and like I've been off the road for too long and now I'm back on it and things are starting to smooth out. I know uh, I've also been on the, the, the failure road, so I don't, it, I don't want to say it's easy because I, I've, I've quit a job to work with a startup that failed. I tried freelancing on my own for a while uh, where I was doing, doing freelance illustration, um, burned out my savings in like six months and like out of desperation had to find a job quick. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not, it does take some forethought, it does take some planning, um, but if you do it, you know, it, sometimes even, even then you have to, you still have to do it. Can, can I jump in? I have a bit of a different story. Um, I am very, 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 very organized. And when I started doing Hello the Future three years ago, I decided about, well, as soon as I went to my first MAGFest and realized I could sell things and how much I was able to sell that weekend, I started keeping a chart. How many shows I was doing, how much money I was making, how many followers I had, etc., etc., etc. And I had a line. And it was like, when it crosses this line and it stays over this line for three months, then I quit. <laughs> and so that, that is, it's a bit of a different perspective in that I was already from the very beginning of my creative process thinking of Hello the Future as a business. Yeah. Uh, now we have a bunch of people lined up, so um, wow. if you don't mind, let's move on to the next question. Thank you so much.